Hey guys, it's Christina Marie and today I'm going to do a review of the snoo including things that are good about it, things that are actually really bad and potentially very dangerous to your child, um, what I like, things to know, and whether I recommend it overall. Okay, so this is the snoo. It is right here. Da, da, da. Um, one thing that I really love is that it is beautiful. Unlike normal bassinets, I feel like this is actually very attractive to have in your bedroom. Um, what I don't like though is that you can't push one side down. So I have another bassinet in another room. Um, this is my grandma's room. My room, the bassinet is just a normal bassinet. The side goes down so it's easier to see the baby's face versus this you're like peeking in to look at the baby while you're asleep. Also, you can't adjust the height of the snoo. So just a drawback, but it's very easy to put together. There's a video that they have by snoo and it's attractive. You can't adjust the height, which kind of sucks, but it is stunning to look at. Um, one thing that I also like is it works well. So you put the baby in it, um, you press the power button and it starts shifting back and forth and makes a calm sound. Now, what I really hated is I had to actually download the app to adjust the volume of the snoo because I wanted it to be at the quietest setting possible. Um, so heads up, know that, and any other extras, additions, you basically have to pay for. So I would have loved it if the snoo had the option to adjust the volume on the snoo itself. I also don't like that it's difficult to clean. There is a zipper over here, so it looks like you could maybe take it off, but I find it just, it being white and compared to other bassinets, you can't throw the whole thing in the wash easily. So that is a drawback. Another drawback is like most bassinets, I feel like it tilts to one side. Like when I put her in it, she leans to one side of the snoo, which is how it is with all bassinets. Another thing I don't like is that um, it doesn't incline a little bit. Like if you're in the hospital, you'll notice that they put babies in the bassinets that are at a small, small, small incline. The snoo doesn't have that. No big deal if I need to put her on a incline. Very small. I just put a towel underneath the mat. Now, looking at the mat itself, one thing that I really, one thing that I really hate is that looking at this down here, um, the mat mattress itself is actually very, very thin. So what I had to do was actually buy a mattress pad on Amazon, which I'll include a link to below. So that was one thing I didn't like was having to buy a mattress pad. Even with the mattress pad, I find it to be very, very thin and not very cushy. I know they say don't have too much cushion on things, but this is just still really, really hard. So that's what I don't like. Now let's get to things that I really hate about the snoo, like absolutely hate. So one thing that I hate is that to put, let me try to show this to you, um, to put the baby in here, you have to, it's very hard to get these straps on the side over there. It's hard with the fingers to get it in here. Also, this is a size small. My baby was like five pounds, 13 ounces at birth, five pounds, five ounces. And the small was way, way, way too tight, which I hated. Even now her being at like the 10th percentile and only a week, a month old, she is tight in the medium. So I find that the, um, what's it called? The things to hold them in, the swaddles are way too small. She needs a large already. Um, also, let's get into the thing that is really dangerous about the snoo. So there is one thing that I think is a really, really big, big health concern about the snoo is that since it straps a baby to their back, they cannot move to their side. So I have a swaddle me blanket that I use in a normal bassinet in my room. And when my baby ever, if she needs to cough up a little bit in a normal swaddle, she can roll to her side, tilt her head and vomit just a little bit. The problem with this snoo, which is very, very, very scary to me, is that one time we did put her in the um, swaddle that comes with the snoo 
and she could not tilt her head to the side. She couldn't, she could tilt her head to the side, but she couldn't tilt her body. So when she threw up, it went all over her face and was kind of like a choking slash suffocation hazard, not being able to move her body. So I actually find it very, very dangerous to put her in the snoo on her back in the swaddle. Having the inability for the baby to roll to their side if they need to cough is very, very, very scary to me. So we still use the snoo, we still like the snoo, but what I personally do is we put, just how this is going right now, we put the swaddle in the snoo, have it going, and then either just swaddle her with blankets or use a swaddle me to put the baby in the snoo. It still rocks side to side, it still makes sound, it still increases in volume and goes faster if she is crying, but that way she is not swaddled in on her back, which prevents her from going to her side. So that's one thing to know. Okay, let's talk about buying the snoo. I bought mine on Facebook Marketplace. It was $700. That seems to be the going rate right where I live. Is it worth it? I think absolutely yes. I can always resell it on Facebook Marketplace for basically how much I paid maybe for $600, so it's like $100 that I end up paying, which is the same price as a normal bassinet, if not less. So yes, it's absolutely worth it. Just buy it on Facebook Marketplace and I would not put your baby in the swaddle themselves. Also, um, I recommend getting the mattress pad with the snoo to make it a little bit softer and extra sheets, which you can easily get on Facebook Marketplace. Um, I think that was it. So in summary, yes, I recommend the snoo, but big heads up, do not put the baby in the swaddle because it prevents them from rolling to their side and coughing or spitting up which is um, really dangerous if they can't do that. Get it on Facebook Marketplace used, and it's kind of a pain that you have to download the app to adjust the volume. Overall, I like it. I'm really glad that we bought it. Um, just know those watch outs, and let me know if you have any questions. Does she sleep longer in it? Honestly, I don't know. She sleeps pretty well not being in the snoo, but it is kind of nice having something that rocks her and makes a noise. If you have any questions, again, leave a comment below. Let me know whether you like this new or not. Um, overall, as I said, we like it. It's just not as amazing as I was expecting it to be. Thanks guys.